This tutorial shows you how to use the site Unitag to create a QR code. Now when you go to the Unitag site, you can just create a QR code directly um, from this page or you can actually create a free account and it will archive your QR codes for you. I'm not going to log in at this time. I'm going to use a World Book article for this example, so I'm going to go over to my other browser. This is an article from World Book Kids on Abraham Lincoln, and I want to use this particular website for my students to go to World Book to actually read about Abraham Lincoln. So I'm going to make a copy of the URL that leads them directly to this website. I'm going to go back to my Unitag site, and I'm going to click right here, right-click, and paste that URL. I'm going to confirm. This is the, uh, the QR code that will bring my students directly to that article, but there are several little customizing things you can do at the site. One thing you could do is you could choose one of their templates if you choose, or you could go here to Colors, and you can actually change the color of your QR code. You click out and it makes the changes each time that you click out. There are a few little other formatting things that you can do in the look field, but I like this logo field because this allows me to actually add a little image of Abraham Lincoln to this QR code. Now I've already saved the image on my computer, so I'm going to go to that location. So I'm going to click Choose File, and I actually had it saved on my desktop. Here he is, Abe Lincoln, and I'm going to do Open and upload. Now you'll notice that it's updating my QR code and there's a right in the middle of my QR code. The next thing that I really like about this site is the eyes. You can go, these are the eyes of the QR code and Unitag allows you to go and customize the eyes. You have your external eyes and your internal eyes. So if I click on this little color wand and I choose which color I want this one to be, when I click out it makes that change. I'm going to do this, do a different one for each one, just to kind of give it a nice look. So again, I'm clicking on the box, clicking on the color that I want to use, and clicking out, and it updates that QR code. Now for my internal eyes, I'm going to go and select the look that I want for those. And let's see. And change. So I'm going to go and do that again. Click in it and then out and it updates the QR code and I'm going to do one more. And so now my QR code is complete. Always remember before you save your QR code you want to check it with your QR reader to make sure that it works. Once you know that it works with this particular program you can actually just right click on your QR code save image as, and save it to the location that you need to. That concludes this video on using Unitag to create QR codes.